started recording yeah, me okay <clears throat> what my friends are my power <laughs> what did that little girl just say to me <laughs> <laughs> nick did you start yeah okay i couldn't tell if you said oh. yeah or if you just made a noise both or if you're yeah. just saying yeah in general not agreeing but just saying yeah it happens hello everyone and welcome back to dip ships the legitimate boating podcast i as always am your captain calamity carl and joining me today as always my wonderful co-host through of uh, maritime medi <laughs> I'm the rear maritime medi. The rear maritime medi. Nautical Nick. Nautical hey. Admiral Nick over here. That's right. How are we uh, doing, fellas? Yeah. I haven't killed anyone yet. Week's not over. Week's not over. Don't Technically, the week just started because the week starts on Sunday. Hey, hey Izzy. Well, that's positive thinking. Positive that you're going to kill some. Yay. I don't, I don't love where this is going. We just got here. I like where it's going so far. Who wants to go first? Uh, I can do it. Okay. Um, um, um. The fuck? It's been two weeks, right? Yes. Valentine's Day happened. Oh. It was, I mean, you know, I went to work. Just smooch your valentine? What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Going to work, because it's a Wednesday. Basically. Yeah. yeah. I uh, got one co-worker exactly flowers, and everyone was like, oh, why are you getting her flowers? And I was like, literally, because she asked. <laughs> I like, mean, that's I'm fair. Cute. Right? She was like, hey, can I get flowers for Valentine's Day? And I was like, yeah, sure. What do you want? <laughs> the flowers. And I think, I don't know if she thought it was a bit or what, but it wasn't that expensive. So... I came in with flowers, and then she was so happy the whole day. She was like, you made my husband look like shit because he's out skiing today. Get fucked, <laughs> idiot. Get cocked, idiot. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Didn't even bring her skiing. Apparently, he, like, went out the day before to go skiing, skied the whole day, and then was staying overnight skiing again. I and can't on none believe of those you. Days, <laughs> I don't know. But again, not bringing your... Wife and or significant other and or husbando. She, I don't know, I guess because she had work. I don't fucking, I don't know. I didn't it's ask. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. So anyway, continue to cuck this man. Good job. It was really funny. Really funny. Her, uh, her niece also works there. And she saw me walking in with the flowers. And like, first thing when I walked into work, she was like, you just made all of us look so bad. Because you're the <laughs> only one that brought anything in. <laughs> I was I mean, like, that's funny. Again, I don't know. They asked, otherwise I wouldn't have bothered. Oh, shit, that's funny as hell. <laughs> uh, fucking, my grandma came down for a surprise visit last weekend. Yay! No. Oh! <laughs> but it wasn't that bad, because I, uh, just didn't show up until it was time to go to lunch, or dinner, whatever, and then we had dinner, and then I left. So, I'll take it. There you go. Um... I have lost, yep. I have lost my Saturdays for a couple of weeks. Oh, I thought you were going to say you've lost your dignity because you shit your pants and I got excited. No, absolutely not. It's going to happen. Nah. We're going to make it happen. Hopefully this upcoming Saturday I will keep that. But uh, we've been rearranging some things at work and he just keeps like calling people to be like, hey, can you come in Saturday to help us move stuff? And I'm like, well, I do like money. I feel that. It's like we have all these, all this printing equipment that's been in the front two rooms since I got hired and probably long before that. And the new uh, owner was like, hey, we should, we should put it all in the middle room so that our press guy doesn't have to walk back and forth between the front two rooms. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Everyone's like, okay, that kind of makes sense. 
then he told us the plan for how he wanted to do it, and everyone got really unhappy because it was dumb. Uh, the short version is that he has consolidated all of the presses in one room, which is great for moving around, but that room is super hot, and we're still waiting for something to explode in there because of it. Uh-huh. And by consolidating everything in there, he has split up all the finishing equipment that my department works with. So now if we have to do a couple specific jobs that don't come in that often, but it's still annoying, we have to go all the way to the other end of the shop Ooh. to uh, to do it. And it's a great inconvenience for everyone because some of these machines, like uh, the thing that we use to coil bind books and the things we use to seal envelopes are right behind like office workers. So this lady was on the phone and I'm right behind her swearing at an envelope machine because it won't seal right. And like, yeah, this was this was thought up well, I think. Even the uh, the techs who are being brought in to like reinstall the presses yeah. are just having a horrible time. Oh, me and my boss were in the other room just kind of watching this one guy walk around for maybe 20 minutes just around a particular press in a circle swearing to himself. That's a big mood. And we're just like, yeah, this isn't going well, I don't think. This is this is going quite poorly. Like, who hasn't been there specifically? Right. We've started, uh... <laughs> Me and my boss have started, like, stealthily stealing equipment from the front and bringing it back. And we're gonna see how long it takes him to notice. And even if he does, he might not want it back if we could make it work. We, like, pushed a piece of equipment around and then went out to the shed and got a whole ass cabinet that was in there. Yeah put the cabinet where the old thing was so we could put some of the stuff from up front there and it's like we have a lot less space now but at least all of our stuff is in one goddamn place at the store I, I don't know that's supposed to be a process that's done now which it's only supposed to be done now because the techs only come out on specific days pacific days yes i don't know i guess we're not near that if, ocean i don't know if it's part of the lease or part of a contract or what but we cannot like unhook and rehook the presses it has to be done by them there's probably so, like a specific reason why right so they came in one day and they unplugged everything and we had uh electricians come into the shop and re redo all the wiring and then they left and then the press operators came back and plugged the presses in and the electricians came back and finished the wiring and now we're like boy i sure hope everything's good because otherwise you have to go through that all again yay yeah. The worst uh, potential problem is that when he first brought up this plan, uh, my boss brought up the issue of that middle room is not a floor that is level. It is old and it's like tiled and it kind of like if you walk through it with uh, something with wheels, you can kind of feel it dip and raise at points. Oh, which isn't bad if you're just walking through because who cares? But if you're trying to operate machinery there, it's not awesome. Yeah, that sounds like hell. Um. And his big worry was that if we want to have the presses there operating the way they're supposed to, we might have to tear up the floor and redo it. Oh. And the owner was like, nah, 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 we don't need to do that. So we've moved everything in there in a process that's taken about two and a half weeks. Uh, and at least one of the presses has problems, I know, because, uh, you know, whatever, it prints and then it has a stacker at the end. Yeah. And the stacker is meant to descend as more paper gets on it, so it can hold just, a, like, a bunch of shit. It can hold roughly a third of what it's supposed to right now, because if it goes down too far, the drawer won't open because it's on a part of the floor that's not level. Oh. Huh. So if we end up having that problem consistently, or other problems pick up on other presses... We then need to reverse this two and a half week process to get everything out of that room, tear up the floor, redo the floor, and then repeat the two and a half week process of moving the presses back in. Huh. I don't want to do that. It sounds kind of like a hot mess, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my boss is pretty sure, and I agree to a point, that the new owner is basically trying to do like the, well, I came in and I made these changes, so it was worth it, you know? Oh, 100%. And, like, I get it, but goddamn, he, uh, redid the front two rooms. One of them is not done yet, because we, we don't really have a lobby so much as we have a front room where we have our computers and also customers show up there sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and he wants there to be an actual lobby, so we have to make one somehow. 
That's stupid. Yeah. Like, okay. It's it's a print shop, you know? Mm-hmm. If you walk into it, you know what you want. We don't need, like, <laughs> uh, one of those racks with the brochures in it that tells you what we can do. Like, we have it. If people come in and they don't know, we possess those things and we can just give it to them. I, I guess so, yeah. We, we don't need a lobby. <laughs> Most of our stuff comes in, like, through email or the phone anyway. I mean, it's I, true, I, but... I, uh, I don't even know if we get walk-ins that frequently. All right, but what if somebody walks in and they want to stand around and meander in your lobby? I was told a story of uh, a guy who came in maybe once a week. This, this was like uh, 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. He would come into the shop about once a week and place a small order, like 20 business cards, 20 flyers, stuff like that. And he did this pretty normally, like on a consistent schedule. Uh, Turns out then... he was a serial killer. No, but one day after he'd been doing this for about two, three years, he showed up, and while he was talking to the person who regularly did his orders, he just started jerking off. Oh. What? Yeah. Oh, that's not what at all where I thought that was going. Yeah, it wasn't where I thought that story was going either. Right in front of my salad? Right in front of her salad. And uh, she called the owner at the time, uh, the, you know, horrible person who is now retired. Uh, he probably told her just to deal with it. Oh, his response was, well, at least he can still get it up. <laughs> oh, great. Cool, man. So then she called the police. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I would hope so. Um, and when they took the guy out, <sighs> and he ca- he came back. He came back again at his oh, regular came. time two weeks later. Uh huh. And they were like, "You you can't come in here." And he was like, w- "Why not? Did you forget that you jacked off in front of <laughs> Susan?" Apparently, like I have no fucking idea what was going through that dude's head. That dude but was on I drugs. Think, probably. I think that's a case that we shouldn't have a lobby. Jesus I guess. Christ. <laughs> Let's get less people just casually walking in here, please. Less people casually jacking off. Right. You jack off one time in a fucking airport and all of a sudden can't do that anymore. I don't know. I, I feel like it was more than one time at the airport. Let's change the subject. Listen, I don't need you to <laughs> judge me. I, um, oh, I guess one last work thing. We got this plaque. I don't fucking know why. Like the kind on your teeth, ask. or no, like a wood thing with like oh. the gold plating on it. Yeah, okay. And uh, I I don't know. I guess it's because we sold a bunch of shit, or I literally don't know what it's for. It's but... to make the older people feel better about themselves, right? The new owner was so excited about it. Exactly. I, I guess we had a. Uh... I, I don't even know what this dude was. Regional vice president of the franchise we're a part of. Oh, I don't. You're I don't part know. of a franchise. Yeah, the place I work at, which I cannot name live on this podcast, uh, is franchised. But there's only like eight of them. I think. I was about to say, like, so, wait, eight of them, but they need a regional VP. I don't know, man. There's there used to be two in my state, and now we're the only one. So I don't know how widespread this is, honestly. Huh. I. I'll tell you what, if any of the other stores are like mine, then we have uh, finally just now, because we begged him to hire someone, reached the double digits of employees. Let's go! So they're pretty small stores. Um, He came down to do something to our, I don't know, software or something like that, Uh, (laughs) which I actually just remembered. The whole, like, shop, except me and my boss, were crowded around this dude while he was explaining features of the upgrade. And me and my boss are like, oh, they're having a meeting. We weren't told about it. We should, like, walk up there and, and participate. So we walked up. And, and he asked, what the fuck dude. are you two doing not working? No, no, they, they let us in. They let us into the huddle. And then the dude started, like, talking about what he was talking about. And me and my boss just left. He, he was saying some shit like, if you log into the program we use, you can do this, this, and this. And we don't log into that program ever. It's for, like, like ah. clerical stuff. And we don't we don't do that. I see. This is worthless. <laughs> this is why we weren't invited. I understand. But yeah, that same day, I guess he's the guy who brought the plaque, because I don't know where the fuck else it would have come from. And the owner was like, oh, we gotta have, like, a like a shop photo now with the plaque. Me and my boss are just like, we really don't need to do that. It's, it's okay, but buddy. 
We right. we did. We we were bribed into it. It was not a good bribe, I'll tell you that. Doesn't What'd sound like it. Sounds uh, like it was a dark bribe. <laughs> well, he like leaned in, and my boss is like, "Well, what are we gonna get if we show up to the to the photo?" And the owner looks at him and he's like, "A hug." <laughs> Oh yeah, dude! <laughs> Sick. Cool. Sexual harassment. Oh Suing my god! You. Right, so we we fucking were like, all right, whatever. We're not getting out of this, so we'll go up. We'll do the picture. Uh, and we walk up there and realize that at the time it was maybe one thirty or so, maybe maybe two. Uh, and our delivery driver and one of our main secretarial people had already left for the day, and yeah. we're like, how are we gonna? How do we team photo this? We're down at a fifth of our staff. Oh. And he's like, oh, we're just going to Photoshop him in. Does he couldn't Photoshop us in? We didn't want to be here either. Yeah, but you're getting a hug. I didn't, we didn't even get the hug. What the fuck? I know. That's really sad, Nick. That sucks ass. Also, this man, uh, the new owner, has uh, had this business for, I want to say, five months at this point. Do you want to guess how many uh, pizza parties we've had in those five months? How many? Six. Let's go. That's more than I get usually. It's just like I like I appreciate the pizza. However, comma, if you're getting if you're working us all to the point where you need to buy more pizzas than we have been working months, I think something needs to be done. No, I don't love it, but I am going back in tomorrow, so I guess there's that. I guess there's that. Although, I'm gonna be real, when my boss retires, I might just leave. <laughs> That's totally fair. When my boss retires, I've already decided when my boss retires, I'm gonna start making some outrageous demands. I'm just gonna come up and be like, alright, look, he's leaving, and that means that I'm the only person in the shop now, until you can hire someone, and I doubt, I truly doubt, there is someone with the skills of my boss still in this entire state. He, that he's means like that really I am fucking the boss. Good. So it's like, all right, I want this much money. I want what he had for time off. And if you don't give it to me, I'll walk. Pretty much, that's how you become the boss. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, basically, it's like, you can say no, and I'll leave, and you're fucked. Or, you can acquiesce. You can say yes, and get a happy nick. Say yes, acquiesce. Basically. Oh. And then as, if Sorry, he, as soon as he does say hurt. yes to these just completely insane demands, if he does, I'm going to be like, great, also, I need a helper. <laughs> Hell yeah. I need what I was to my boss for me, please. Because there's, there's a lot of shit that gets done back there. I'm not doing it alone. I'm also deciding that there are some jobs that he does that I'm just not going to do. Yeah. We have this one client who, like, I, I had never heard of them before I started working there, but I guess they're kind of, like, high-end. Like, they spend a lot of money on the things that they get from us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's just the worst. The, they, it, they, what they mostly get is business cards. Very specific business cards. Uh -huh. They are not cut like regular business cards, and they uh, are cut in such a way that the hydraulic cutter needs to have a fresh blade on it when they have to be cut. Otherwise, it will do them wrong. So you have to change the blade to do the business cards. Then once they're cut, you need to bundle them up, clamp them, put them in this piece of wood that my boss made for a stand. Oh. Then wheel them outside and spray paint them. That's fun and interactive and then after that you need to cut them again which puts all these paint flakes on the fresh new cutter blade then let them dry for two days and then pick through all 500 of them for the best 300 to give hmm. and i have already decided i'm not doing any of that let's go <laughs> that's, so, that's another thing you'll have to deal with why would you ever i guess just the money i i genuinely don't know i've looked at the costs because when we, like, finish up the job and we, like, slap on the stickers and whatever, we can see what people pay for the work that we're getting. So sometimes I'm pissed off, but I'm like, I worked on this for two days and it only cost them $800. But then there's other guys who I feel bad for because they got a poster. Not a poster that we laminated or anything, just, like, a poster-sized print for, like, 50 bucks. And it's like, I feel like we could have, feel like we could have done better than that. No, nah, we're fine. There are very few times where I look at something and I'm like, yeah, that was an appropriate price that we, we charged them. That's you, that's what you got? That's what I got for work. Oh? I uh, picked up a couple games, picked up Helldivers 2. Let's go. 
It's been pretty fun. Let's go Super Earth. I didn't get to play it for the first three days after I bought it because I couldn't get past the servers. It's fair. But have you been managing democracy? I've been managing a bit of democracy. Good. I have been killed by... Honestly, if I were to actually count up all of my deaths, I think a good number of them are from my teammates. But that's okay. Most of them are friendly fire, honestly. <laughs> I got killed four times in one combat by my buddy's uh, mortar sentry. Nice. It just like automatically launches mortars where enemies are, and turns out, when I have a shotgun, the enemies are also near me. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so I just kept exploding on contact with the enemy. Uh, I picked up Ran Blue Relink, uh huh, which is uh action RPG, kind of like Monster Hunter, kind of like Tales in a way. Uh, I haven't finished the full thing because once you beat the story, it's like, hey, we have another like probably twenty hours of stuff for you to do. Also, yeah, which I don't mind. Post game stuff is fun, uh, but it's really fucking good. I I'm surprised at how good it was. And there is no other game in which I can be like a two foot nothing girl with a huge ass crown killing dragons. So uh -huh. points for that. I them. thought you were just going to say a huge ass, so I got excited. No, uh, in the other Grand Blue game, you can play as 2B, though, so there's that. Oh. Which, wow. Quick thoughts about that. I hate that bitch. Anyway, <laughs> not in general. In general, I love 2B, but God, I hate fighting against her right now. I need to get back into I need to get into more fighting games. I also need to Let's just go. play more fighters. Fighters is good. Fighters is still very good. I still played it. I played it yesterday. Man, I can't wait for Fighters HD to come out. Legendary Edition or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. It's coming out soon-ish. And I'm excited. I picked up... Uh, see, I've been playing Fighters. I've been playing the Grand Blue fighting game. Playing Relink. I picked up Tekken 8. It's really hard. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. Going from 2D <laughs> Fighters to a 3D one. Yeah, it's it's exceptionally difficult for me to get my brain around right now. But uh, I'm trying. I picked up... Um, actually, I got it at Christmas. I just didn't get a chance to play it till this week. I started playing Lies of P. That's yeah. Pinocchio Dark Souls, right? It is Pinocchio Dark Souls. It is also pretty fun. It has a neat little make-your-own-weapon system, kind of. I stuck, I stuck the uh, like blade of a greatsword on the end of a fire axe and just called it a day. Nice. And... Dip, dip, dip. I got a picture of my cat huh el gato el gato because el, they el started gato. doing this thing where anytime they come into my lap and just like immediately lay down they give me a hug oh I, <laughs> they did this to me and did not move for 40 minutes and neither did i what a sweetheart i i love them uh there was, I still don't fully know the reason for this, but there was an ambulance at a Wendy's outside my work. Let's go. Someone died. <laughs> but maybe. I don't fucking know. Coworker of mine was like, hey, I'm leaving for lunch. I can swing by the Wendy's on the way back if you want me to pick you up anything. I was like, oh, yeah, sure. And uh, they texted me that they got the food and they were on their way back. And then it took them like 15 minutes to get back after that. And the Wendy's is like, a block and a half away so i was really concerned yeah and they walk in like yeah an ambulance was blocking traffic right outside the wendy's that's awesome i i don't even know what happened still uh da, 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 da. i watched no a one died. bunch of shit i mean it is a wendy's i'm not ruling it out yeah what have you watched nick i have watched I'm trying to think of what I watched last time that i talked about any of this nonsense did i ever talk about uh last voyage of the demeter I think so. Okay, okay. That's the Boat Dracula movie. You're asking me to remember right. things from a while ago, and I don't know. All right, know. so, question about this movie. About the Boat Dracula movie? Yes. Yeah. All right. So, like, did Dracula hire this boat with the express intent of killing everyone on board? So, I have not read the book. I assume yes. Because the whole thing was he... Paid the people on the boat to take the, all the cargo, which was like his coffin and a bunch of other nonsense, to England. Uh huh. Uh, and paid them a bunch of extra money to not check what the cargo was. Yeah, but was it like, oh boy, I'm gonna have a nice relaxing boat ride and wake up in the new world, or was it like, right? Like I think he knew he would have to come out and get snacks. 
Oh, that's fair. Yeah. That, that's my oh. assumption, is that he... Hungry. I don't think it was necessarily part of the plan, but it was just incidental. He is going to have snacks. <laughs> yeah, uh, I watched that's fair. The Rental, which was a subpar horror movie. Sounds like it. it there was a, a good little dog in it who I was really worried was going to die, <gasps> but they show up at the end of the movie and they get pet by the killer and then they leave. I'm like, all right, cool. And then I watched Thanksgiving, where the same thing happens, but with a cat. Okay. And it is, like, genuinely the best scene of that whole movie is where this dude finishes a kill, turns away, starts to leave, and as he's opening the door to leave, he hears a meow, and he turns around and the cat is just standing at the food bowl, and then there's just a hard cut to him pouring food for the cat, and feed giving the cat. it some head scritchies, and then leaving. Nice. And I'm like, yeah, alright, he's a killer, but he's not a monster. <laughs> I love him to death. Then he died. Then he died. I mean, maybe. Unclear. I doubt there's going to be a sequel. I mean... Not with that fucking Yeah, you attitude. never know. I mean, in fairness, Thanksgiving does happen every year. It's true! Shit, I gotta make one of these every year now? <laughs> and then today, I was scrolling through my media thread to remember things, but I haven't put this in there yet. I watched uh, the D&D movie, Honor Among Thieves. Huh. And I, I... I don't know what I expected, but it was... It was good. You expected it, wasn't it to like... be bad. Well, no, I kind of expected it to be middling. That's fair, yeah. I mean, alright, listen, the last couple D&D movies haven't been, um, great. Yeah. The 90s D&D movies were, in <laughs> fact, Dookie Doo Doo Garbo. This is actually, this is a pretty fucking good movie. I enjoyed it almost the whole way through. Uh, and... It, it, it sets up some good stuff. I like it. I would be down for more in this. I would honestly be down for a bunch of completely disconnected movies by, like, the same people involved. Like, give me a completely different campaign that was happening over there. I, I would I would literally sit down to watch, like, eight of these movies that aren't astounding. Like, these aren't 10 out of 10 films. But I get to walk out of every one going, I had a good time. Nice. Because there are too many movies that I watch where I do not get to walk out of there going, I had a good time. That's totally fair. I kind of feel that. <laughs> with the way our movie marathons went last year. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I think that's it for me, though. I watched a bunch of shit, played a bunch of shit, worked a lot, and here I am. <gasps> wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll go next. No. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. No, oh, all right. Then I'll go next. Correct. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Nick has spoken. I'm sorry, Carl. Nick has spoken. The it, decider. It must be me. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> so I'd be so well unprepared, but I've made this choice for you. I, uh... I really don't have very much to say. Except my mom fucked up my taxes. Oh, let's go. Oh, right, right to jail. Yeah, uh, it's it's at that level. Oh, my where, God. Uh, I, all right, so she signed me up for health insurance last year, right? Like, at the start of the year. She's like, well, you don't have anything right now. And I'm like, yeah, I, I cannot afford. Uh, okay, you signed me up for New York health insurance? Why would I sign you up for New York health insurance? Oh, my God. Mother, mother, you pay for Obamacare through your state taxes. I'm not being taxed in New Jersey this year. Hmm. So I canceled it, like, or I, I tried to cancel it immediately. Yeah. yeah. And it did cancel immediately. Good. The problem is, uh, the government goes, hey, you, hey, you, you had, uh, insurance, and you didn't submit the insurance form. Hmm. And I go, uh, but I didn't. So, like, I, I have the Walmart, but I don't have anything else. But you didn't submit, you had this insurance for 30 seconds. You didn't submit the information for it. But I'm not the one who signed me up for it. But if they use your social security number, who can cares? I, yeah, can I just say, it's wild to me that your mother just took it upon herself to sign you up for the wrong health care. Yeah! Right. Like, how daft does someone have to be? You've met her. I know, unfortunately. Damn. So anyway, I'm, uh, whenever I get a free, uh, like, day, I've been calling and, uh, they 
fighting to try to get them to uh, send me the fucking form. But because I didn't sign up and I don't have her email. Ah. Uh. And like, but my social security is on it. It is like, it, it's, it involves me. Yeah, that's it's all you need. It's fucking me. Not her. Me. And you she's refusing doomed. to fucking do it. Like, well, I, I don't have that information. I don't see those emails. And I'm like, great. Could you oh. help me and call? No. Could you request your email be reactivated and I'll just log in with your e No? No. Like, you, you do know that first, you committed insurance fraud. <laughs> And second, Damn, yeah, that is what happened. Huh? You caused me to commit insurance fraud, and I'm going to get fucked by the IRS. Fun. This does remind me that my mom listed me as a uh, what's the word? A beneficiary on their their life insurance. Oh. Uh, but when they came in to ask, like, clarify my social security number, we were recording, so they left. And then I, I went up after recording to her. I was like, hey, what did you need? And they were like, oh, I needed your social security number to make sure this would go to the right person. But you were busy, so I guessed. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> so, I, you, know, you know, ideally it doesn't matter, but <laughs> Jesus. I guess. Sure, dog. <laughs> oh, man. Parents, am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh that's been all my stuff. You know, I uh Casual haven't really played any fraud. new game. Oh wait. No, there was a thing that happened. Go on. I finished the new Pokemon game. Ah. Wait, what new Pokemon? Finally. Game? Scarlet Violet. Uh. And by that I mean I caught every fucking Pokemon. Oh. Finally. That's the first time I've completed a deck since um Don't get there. No, I'm thinking maybe like black and white. I did it in Johto and then never again. Maybe platinum. Platinum's a lot worse to get it in, I would think. I mean, yeah, black and white has like the Pokemon search. It's the first one that does, but. So, yeah. And now I have uh the game and I'm like, oh, well, there's nothing else to do here. So, uh. Do they, do they still give you a funny little certificate to print out? Yeah, you get three because there's, you know, the oh, two shit. DLCs. You can't print them out, but you can look at them whenever you want by going to your Pokédex. Yeah. I see. I see. And they give you the shiny charm to help you hunt shinies. Mm-hmm. And they give you... What is it? The, is it the badge charm? The mark charm? It... Um... The Pokémon can get, like, marks of, like, random little JPEGs that change nothing about the Pokémon. Untrue. Okay. Oh, no. It changes the what Pokémon's is... title. What? Ah, uh, yes, titles. They have titles, too. Like like the Electric Mouse Pokemon? No. No. What? <laughs> so you could send in a Pokemon in battle, and it's like, oh, your Pokemon picked up a whole bunch of uh, items off the floor. Uh, go Ogre Pond the Treasure Finder. Okay. Things like that. Okay. Yeah, they, they can roll with those. I don't know if your Pokemon can earn them. They You can, depending on which ones they have. Like but yeah. Because my Ogre Pond just ended up with a mark that was uh, item collecting. Oh, good for her. We love and there's a, trash a third goblin. charm, but I forget what it is. But again, I got every Pokemon, so it like I'm not going to go getting more. <laughs> Unless. Unless. I might, depending. you got to wait until the Switch 2 comes out with the updated versions of Scarlet and Violet. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, Scarlet and Violet 2. Speaking of Switch 2, I'm probably going to get a Steam Deck. Hell yeah. Oh, don't, don't, no, Carl's been, Carl's been staring wistfully at the S Steam Deck sales page, and I've been like, no. Oh, yeah, well, oh, the sales I can't afford to it be now, like, I can tell you that. I know. A couple months from now, I think. Yeah, when the, the Steam sale happens. Yeah. 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 And then we all end up with Steam Decks. <laughs> and it's like, wow, almost, like, a whole ten games are compatible. Hey, but one of those games is Super Robot Wars 30. You're right, one of those games is Vampire Survivors, baby. <laughs> Play it on my phone, my computer, and my Steam Deck all at once. <laughs> Let's go. Man, you're going to be surviving so hard. <laughs> I'm just playing the guy with the garlic. I just got to stand still. I win. <laughs> Triple uh. progression. Got more, Medi? Uh, 
Yeah, I guess I have one last thing. Oh? It's not a nice thing. Oh. Uh, my 3DS has finally given up the ghost. Oh, yeah. The A button no longer works. And uh, it's got dead pixels on the top screen. Well, it sounds like it's alive still. I mean, yeah, but I can't play game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. And this um, is a a base Nintendo 3DS, like... That reminds me to give you the the new 3DS that's sitting outside. Why is it sitting outside? Because it's, it's in not. a drawer in there. It's in I... my lap. Oh. <laughs> As I'm updating all the uh, totally legal things that are on this 3DS. Ah, fair enough. Oh shit, actually, I don't remember if either of you i know that many at one point was following the manga did you hear the um my hero next season got a release date oh yeah it's like next month the 7th or something is that it'll start airing i mean it's almost over so they better i was gonna start. say i depending on how much they cover it could just end i mean yeah because like the last season covered a lot more than i thought it was going to and I really do expect my hero to end in, like, a couple chapters. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's, it's getting there. We got, like, what, maybe seven or eight? Like, I, I feel saying. like it's, like, ten chapters at most. Like, if it's more than that, after that is, like, just epilogue nonsense. Cause yeah, that's it's, probably going to be ending. more than ten. It, it, is, it is ending and soon. Yeah. Still, yeah, this... Oof. Wild to think about. Anyway, I wish Jutsu Kaisen was already over. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. Just keep gambling. I, man. Has that happened in the anime yet? Not yet. Ah, oh, soon, soon. Alrighty. Uh, Medi, you, you, you finished up? You want me to go with my week? Yeah, I'm finished. Go ahead. Speak. Okay. Uh, I stopped by my grandma's on Monday after her hospital scare. Oh. Did I talk about that last week? Uh, if I'm being honest, I've had a couple people talk to me about grandma hospital scares the past week, so I don't know. Long story short, in case I did, uh, my aunt was talking to her, uh, she was just kind of vacantly staring out into space, her eyes were, like, empty, so they rushed her to the hospital because they thought she was having a stroke, she was just dehydrated. Oh my god, no, I definitely don't remember that. Uh, yeah, they, they put the, the saline drip in her and she was like, I woke up in the hospital and didn't know where the hell I was. I was <laughs> like, how the so, hell did I get so here? So thirsty. So now they're like, my aunt's like, yeah, that's why I kept telling you to drink your water. We give you this little thing of water. You drink it and we refill it for you because you need to stay hydrated. And she's like, I didn't know that I, like, it was that important, but I guess uh, if I don't want to end up back there again. Your grandma's got two choices. She can slam Powerades like there's no tomorrow, or we can get her a hamster bottle. Mm, I mean, she kind of already, it kind of is like a hamster bottle already. Damn. You know, she's I like, she's like 90. hamster bottle. But well, that means I also got to see my aunt's new dogs. Hell yeah. And I actually took a picture and a video of them. I'm ready. There they are. I would like to see the video. Look at them. Oh, oh, they're little bastards. Name them for me. Uh, the one laying on the floor in the first picture is Astro. And the one sleeping in the, the little doggy bed is Lady. Good, good. They are both little sweethearts and I love them. <laughs> When I got there, they were, like, fighting for my attention. They're, like, jumping all over each other. That's what was happening in the second one. Is They're, <laughs> they're fighting over who gets pets. Aww. I'm like, I, I, I love you both, but you're you're insane. And <laughs> Lady, right. Lady, when you hold her, she'll just, like, curl up a little and just, like, start to doze off. Astro goes fucking insane. <laughs> he tries to jump up onto your shoulder. He just, like, licking all around as much as he can. He's, like, hyperactive. He's crazy. I love them. They're great. He's like, yes, attention. Let's go! Let's go! <gasps> they're, they're little sweethearts. And then that was followed up by... Uh, when was this? Tuesday? That is what's after Monday. Yes! Tuesday, when we were uh, at work for the week. Worked day shift. Oh, oh yeah, right. That was this week. And my boss was like... Oh, no, I, I was going to do uh we had to do another guy's section uh-huh because he was on vacation and he was out friday and i agreed to do the overtime but it, we got out early on that friday so we just sort of waited until this week to do it instead fair enough 
so I was I was doing the bathrooms and I walk into the handicap stall in his uh boys' bathroom. That water does not flush in there. And I did oh. not know that and no one told me that. Oh. It had been sitting there for two days. Oh. It was a horrible, atrocious smell of decayed fecal matter and caca. It is tracks, yeah. And I had to force flush it by just pouring water down into it, disturbing the odors. So it, it was horrible with all of us working on the third floor, retching and gagging because of this toilet that doesn't flush. Where I asked my head custodian about it, and he went, well, fix it. Thanks, very helpful. <laughs> and I went, how I can I... be shot. I was like, how can I fix it if I don't know how to fix it? And he went, fix it. And I went, okay, I'm going to try replacing the batteries that I didn't know this takes. Takes batteries? Yeah, it's an automatic flusher. They need huh. batteries instead of being hardwired into the wall for some That's stupid fucking weird. reason. Yeah, dumb idiots. Dumb idiots. Dumb, dumb, idiot, dumb, stupid. Kaka nightmare, idiot, dumb. Idiots. I think, I think that you should find a new job but not quit right away. And then you need to wait for, like, a particular day where he's like, hey, we're really kind of swamped here. We really need you. And then you just go, anyway, I quit. And then you hang out <laughs> and you never go back. Uh, there could always be a plan. But after after that was taken care of, I still don't know if that toilet works. I'm assuming it does because maintenance showed up two days after. Oh, my God. But uh, after immediately after I, I cleaned the bathrooms and did took care of all that stuff. Uh, boss was like, all right, I'm going to bring you guys down to the big air purifier machines, and I'm going to show you how to change the filters and grease the machine. And I went, I'm sorry, the what? <laughs> this is not a thing that we've ever had to do and that I've never seen done in any building because I'm pretty sure contractors do it. Not and anymore. And sure enough, when I brought it up to one of my coworkers, he sighed very heavily and went, I keep fucking telling him to call the company that is supposed to take care of that instead of trying to get us to do it. Like he's trying to save them money for no reason. And I'm like, I think there is a reason. And I think he's either trying to get into our head of facilities, uh, good side by saving him money or he's getting a cut of the money himself. Right. There has to be some kind of incentive there. There's something going on there and it's making me angry. I think you should call the contract. <laughs> Like, I'm sitting there fuming like this isn't part of any of our jobs and we're not supposed to be doing this. I might fucking curse him out. But I got wait calm. for him to gather a group of you back there. And then confrontation. But I, I, I calmed down. We're fine. Everything's fine. It's, okay. it's all okay. It's all okay. I don't believe you. You know why it's okay, Nick? Well, well oh, this is going to be about you buying Yu-Gi-Oh cards, isn't it's it? It's because of, that's the entirely wrong thing. <laughs> It's me, Goku! Is that all you've got? Frieza? That's awesome. Thank you for that. That is that is a video of Goku in Dragon Ball Z. It it sure is. It's all okay because This is the one I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. of course it is. <laughs> it's all okay because I have two new little friends sitting here. I got a little Funko Pop, Wulu, and Karibo. Not even Curry Bandit. That, I don't think they have Curry Bandit. You just put a bandana on that one, you have Curry Bandit. I guess, yeah. But look at them, they're so cute. I want to squish them. They are not squishable. They're not. They're really hard. Many tried to use the Karibo as a butt plug. Well... Yeah. I told them it was a little too spiky, and they quoted... No, anything, anything, if you're brave enough. Yeah, the the famous Abe uh, oh. Lincoln line. What? Good old honesty. You never heard that line from Abraham Lincoln? No, I heard it. I just didn't know it was attributed to, yeah. to old honest Abe. Yeah, old honest Abe was wild about dildas. Oh, boy. Anyway, I also got card sleeves. Is it? Oh, no. I okay. didn't get the custom ones in yet. These are the... That's what I thought. The, the Master Duel Fire style ones. Which uh, huh. look really nice. Yeah, I was going to say, look pretty good. I, got it I should my... use, I don't know, I'm, I'm always torn about using card sleeves on Master Duel. Why? Because some of them are cool, but also, 
So rarely do I have an opportunity to play Yu-Gi-Oh while looking at the actual backs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You know what? That's that's pretty fair. Like I think it's a cool design, but if you play like that, you're not protecting your cards. Yeah, that is that is that is pretty fair. So Monday I decided to dust my room. I was like it's been a long time. My shelves are dusty as shit. I'm going to take the vacuum we have. I'm going to dust everything off. And I did it. Everything looks nice and clean and neat now. I might have actually died. And uh, I was sitting on the corner of my bed by my bookshelf, just taking off my common rider belts, running the vacuum with the brush attachment over it to suck up the dust, doing that to the shelves. And while I'm doing that, all of a sudden I start going down really fast. Uh, okay. Uh, my bed frame, you see, is broken. <laughs> Oh, is specifically in that corner where my I bed will see. just kind of flop down. I don't know if it is the screw that is supposed to be keeping that side in there just sort of snapped finally, or if it's something else. But um, you know, I'm sure that could be discovered. I I could potentially get a long screw or two or three and screw them into there and keep it in. But yes. I could also just get a new bed frame. Also, yes. Which one of uh, these options is much cheaper than the other? Yeah. Which one do you think I went with, Nick? I, I'm assuming it was the screws. I hope. Ha! No. I see. No, I did buy a new bed frame. Okay. Only because it was on sale on Amazon. It was less money. That's, that's that's great. And I only is bought it, it off yet? Amazon because it only had one bad review and twelve thousand positive ones. Did you? Was the one bad review, like, hilarious? The one bad review was, didn't know how to put it together. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. But it's just a it's just a nice, big, uh, bad frame. It's got is a... It, uh, there yet? No. Ah, I was going to say, is it good? Does it work? I unfortunately, guess we'll, find we'll find out. Uh, unfortunately, it arrives anywhere between uh, Wednesday and next Monday. <laughs> okay. So we'll find out sometime around then. That is a wide range. It's a very wide range. I like this one because it has a, an, an outlet right at the top there on that shelf, which is also new. Oh, shit. So, I can, so it does. So I can just charge my phone closer to my bed instead of the way that I have been doing it, which is just stretching a wire across the entire goddamn bed. I got a, uh, <laughs> I got an extension cord to solve that problem. <laughs> I mean, I te technically have one, too, and I also have a really long USB-C cable. But yeah, uh, looks nice. This was uh, this was kind of my face when it just sort of went down. <laughs> Isn't that guy voiced by Pro ZD? Yes, he is. Awesome. He does a great job. Very happy about it. Dungeon Mesh is really good. I have to watch it still. You should. It's a great series. I've been keeping up with it. I've been watching that and Free Rin, and I think that's actually all I've been keeping up with. I haven't really been keeping up with current animes. Same. I got to get back to Ancient Magus Bride. I started the second season and I didn't bother keeping up with it after a while. Not because I didn't like it. I just forgot to keep watching it. God, I understand. Uh, the new Sentai season just ended. The King Oger. Oh, actually, I actually thought it was already done. No, it, it ended this weekend, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be going into it. Is this the one that had the chicken? Huh? Like it had a weird chicken ranger? No. No, you're thinking of Don Brothers. I am thinking of Don Brothers. No, this one is uh much different. Sama Sentai. Where is the picture? They're all bugs. They're bug kings. Okay. Copy image paste. They're they are very cool. I like them. Huh. This season was, uh, yeah, much, much better than I thought it would have been going into it. Fair. The CG, of course, looks a little funny, but, you know, it's fucking Toei or Bandai or whatever. You know, you know what's going to happen. It's, it's a little hokey, but in some shots, it looks really good. The story was a lot better than I thought it would be, especially oh, yeah. when they beat the main bad guy halfway through and then went, by the way, there's a new big bad guy. And I went, what? Are we, do are we doing that? What? Man. But it was all still connected in a way. And I was like, all right, well, I accept this. I kind of love that in some stories. Some stories pull off the fake ending very well. I would say this is one of them. It's a very good uh, 
series, I definitely recommend checking uh, King Oger out. You probably can't tell who my favorite character is. Uh, I bet it's the bug. I mean, shit, you got me. I know. It's the it's the bug. All right, but there's literally a bug. Yeah, I mean, all of them are fucking bugs. I was gonna say, are they not all bugs? Is yeah, but one the of point? them is literally a spider. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is literally his mom is the hottest spider you've ever seen. Yeah, pretty much. It's very funny. What? Yeah. That is not a sentence I was prepared for tonight. No, my favorite one is the one in the black suit at the right side. Kaguragi mm. Dibowski. I love him. He's a piece of shit. I love this photo. He he describes himself as a uh, a king who would not hesitate to sully himself in the dirt to protect his people. He would lie, cheat, beg, and steal if it meant saving his people. So I'm like, I like this guy. Also, he's I in charge see. of the Food Nation. A real Kozuki Odin motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, he's he's really good. I like purple. They are my favorite. They are also great. Let me get a picture of Rita. Images. Rita, Rita Kanasaki. Copy. No, no, no. There we go. Oh, God. There they are. Do they wear that the whole time? Yes. Yeah, just about. There are very few, really scenes funny. Where, <laughs> very few scenes where we see them without the mask on. But there are some. My favorite ones are when they uh, get aggravated with everyone and just scream really loud. Because <laughs> they're just so frustrated, they just start shouting. They're just uh, like me for I think real. my favorite scene is the introduction scene. Where they're like, I'm so tired, and they walk into their room and just fall down on their bed full of plush dolls. Yeah. <laughs> and then they pick up one of the plush dolls and they're like, don't give up, Rita. <laughs> you know what? I know nothing else about anyone else in this show. They're my favorite, too. Well, of course. You, uh, Rita what appreciates Mofoon. That's Mofoon. <laughs> Rita really likes the plush toy. <laughs> really it's likes the plush a toy. Chibi Wampa. Yeah. Just got a life size uh figure of a plushy of them, got like a bunch of little ones. Makes a talk, goes, Rita, you're doing is a this, great is job. This a shot from the show. Yeah. Yes. This rules. No, it's the series great. is great. Oh. It's it's really, really good. Other than that, uh we played some Lethal Company. Nice. Streamed some more Spain of that. So I would like to uh share this. Video tweet from a dear friend of the show, Yuki. Let's see. From when we played. Oh, you hit him with the invert. What? Who used the death note? Damn. I was so happy I got it to work I, on my end. I was just cackling, going, oh my <laughs> god, it fucking worked. They came back to the... When they came back after getting fucking their neck snapped, they're like, <laughs> hey, buddy, do you think you can move the teleporter so they're not on top of each fucking other? And I went, oh, that was the point. <laughs> that was and, funny. They just, and they just kind of stared. Like, I hate you. And I was like, <laughs> are you ready to go? And, uh... I regret telling you about this. And I, uh, I started doing a a, a Yu-Gi-Oh a masochist series with the uh, on Master Duel. Oh my god! On stream. I think I saw your win loss. It's like eleven to thirty or something. Maddie, what do you think my win loss record is right now? I've done two sessions of this. Oh, two? Okay, I don't know then. Oh. You might need to explain what Yu-Gi-Oh masochist is to Betty. I don't know. So, uh, in Master Duel, it is building a deck with only cards you get from Master Packs and uh, Legacy Packs. You can only get one Master Pack with each win. You can structure your deck by pulling five or six Master Packs. Whatever you get is what you get. Yeah, Master Packs and Legacy Packs contain basically every card ever printed in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. That, that makes me kind of want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. What do you think the the win loss record is? Ah, uh, jeez, probably like, probably like two losses for every win, at best. I feel like it's worse than that. Oh, it's way worse than that. <laughs> I mean, it's not hyper far off. Nick, what do you think? What number? What? Give me some numbers. 
I, I, I think I'm still going to go by what I thought before. I think it's like 11 to 30, give or take. <laughs> you... <laughs> I am at 19 wins. Uh-huh. And 51 losses. Well. Once I yeah. hit silver, it went downhill quick. That is yeah. depressing. I ended off the first session, if I have the screenshot saved. I don't think I do. I ended off the first session with like 11 win no i was like eight wins 11 losses something like that and then we got into the second session it was just loss 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 <laughs> loss this person disconnected i get a pack loss 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 jesus it was like man please i just want to win on oh, the deck yeah, is... that, uh, that sounds like hell and i will not be participating uh, this was the first uh deck uh, this is at the end of the uh end of the session first one. run yeah this is what the deck looked like. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're running Wall of Ivy? And here's what it looks like now at the end of the second one. Did you randomly pull an Imperm? No, for the first one, instead of pulling six, I went, I'm going to go into the Imperm pack because I want one good card. Oh, you fucking cheater. And then I pulled a Coral Dragon and I went, well. Do you have any Now I have tuners? two good cards. Yeah, actually, I have a couple tuners. I, say, I see one. I have three tuners, I believe. Damn, you had so many good cards, you had to run 41, huh? <laughs> it's only because I put in the two poly... I just slapped the two poly in and oh, went... okay. All right, we're fine. I can I can actually fuse things now. It's crazy. I, I guess, yeah. Yeah, we're doing great. Nick? We're doing I, great. Whew. Yeah, I hope you have a great time, because this is something I will never subject myself to. I, I mean... It feels great when I win with dog shit, especially against the real decks. I don't it's even happened, think that would feel good. It happened three or four times. You ever seen that image where it's like, win, feel nothing, lose, the voices come back? <laughs> yes. Yeah, no one understood. That's, 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 like doing this with me. that's it. <laughs> yeah. And I was I was hoping to have my uh my Snake Eyes deck ready today. I wanted to go to uh our local card place and try to do some matches, but I'm missing one card and I'm very Ooh. upset about it. But otherwise I have the deck like figured out. This is what I think my final build is going to be. Are you going to do that? <laughs> I I don't know what I really want the answer to this question to be, but okay. are you, you going to do that? that like stream thing where you stream your locals with like a fucking GoPro? No. <laughs> okay. I did think about it, but no. Well, either way, I'm excited to hear how it goes. Yeah, think about how rude that is to your opponent. Dude, Not I really watched... rude as long as they're fine with it. Yeah, I mean, as long as they can set, basically. Yeah, you just ask them if they're fine with it. I like. I feel like in that <laughs> you situation... You show up wearing an Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> like, I feel like I'd be like, yeah, sure, sure, it's fine, it's fine. But also, I would feel so self-conscious. I mean, I know that there are YouTubers that I watch who, like, when they sit down and they're like... Hey, I'm like filming this. Do you mind if I film it or do you want me to not? They if they say no, they won't film it. They'll yeah, just like of course. do a little cut where they're like, "All right, well, my opponent didn't want that match to be filmed, so uh this is what happened in the duel." Like I watched I want to say Gage do one video like that. The Gage has done a couple. I think Farf has done two. Smelly little gnome. Damn. But uh, I didn't get to do that today, mainly because, again, I'm missing my one card, and I'm still missing my card sleeves. Still haven't arrived. I'm very upset. Uh, I also went today to meet with my cousins to go to an escape room. Oh, shit. And uh, Misha, I don't know, uh, Mimi, I don't know if you can can post this picture, but I will post it for us to look at. As me and my cousins, when we when we won with two minutes left. <laughs> I'm the best. That's a good sign. Or rather, three of my cousins and two of their significant others. Fair enough. Cousin-in-laws. So, it was a carnival-based escape room, like an evil carnival. A carn evil, if you will, because that's what it was called. I will not. And we're in there, we're like figuring things out. We're like, we're going through this surprisingly well. We've already figured out like three things. And then we get to this ticket-based puzzle. Where you needed to, like, do directions uh, an amount of times, uh, depending on, like, the directions of the rides that you see on the wall and some tickets you have. Sure. So we're sitting there putting in the code, and it's like, it's, it's not working. Like, 
we're pretty sure this is what the code is and it's not working so we ended up calling them like a couple times like we spent 20 minutes on this going hey um this isn't like we think the lock might be broken or something like it's just not opening so the guy comes in he goes all right yeah so you got like three of the yellow ones you got two of the pink ones you got one blue one we went wait hold on i'm sorry did you say two pink ones and he went yeah and we went we have one pink one and he went what <laughs> And we went, yeah, there was only one pink ticket in this box with the others. And he went, oh, that would be why you guys didn't figure it out. <laughs> and we went, oh, yeah, that would be why, wouldn't it? Damn. Well, we could have never figured that out. We didn't know that. He's like, you know what? We'll give you guys like an extra 20 minutes. Get hacked on fool. So like, okay, good. Thank God. So we start figuring out uh, everything else. We're working our way through. My cousin's holding the radio every couple of minutes. Just like, can we get a hint? <laughs> I feel like that'd be me. I'm way too stupid for this shit. We started asking them about, like, a specific puzzle, and they were explaining to us how it works, and then my cousin went, oh, we already did that one. <laughs> and I was like, how did, how did you not know we... It's okay. It's all right. And then we got to the end. We're, like, right there about to figure it out. Guy comes in because he thinks that he hears us saying on the, like, on the walkie-talkie that the CD player they have in the room for one of the puzzles wasn't working right again. He specified saying again. Uh huh. And he comes in and we're asking him about the puzzle. Like, what the hell does this mean? We were just impatient and didn't listen to the rest of the song for the rest of the instructions. Oh my God. But we're sitting there trying to figure out, the, out this fucking color coded lock. It's got like six colors on it. And you got to put the colors in and then in the sequence and it opens. But he's telling okay. us, yeah, you just got to figure out the one on the wall and that's it. So we got the key, like two minutes left, and we went. So what's the deal with the color vault? And he went, oh, that one doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we spent 10 minutes on this color box and it doesn't work. Awesome. You couldn't tell us it doesn't work? That'd be, no, no, not at all. We figured it out with two minutes left. That's all that matters. And we did feel a little cheated because he kind of just explained what the combination was to us. Mm. And we we're like, oh, I mean... If, if you just told us the first part and without telling us what the, the solution was, we could have figured it out and we could have, you know, we're not that stupid, but. And then he stared at you I and am. then you went. Oh. It's okay. We, we figured it out and we won. Carl, I have, a, I have a quick comment. Yeah, what's up? I don't mean to backtrack, but my autism is flaring up. Uh -huh. I don't think you should main deck three cross out designator. <laughs> Alright, Nick, explain. Let's okay. get into it. Let's get into the weeds. The, the short version uh -huh. is that outside of Master Duel format uh -huh. and OCG format where uh -huh. Max C is legal, uh -huh. Crossout Designator isn't as good as it is. Uh-huh. Droll and Lockbird. Droll and Lockbird is good. However, Nibiru. Nibiru the doesn't mirror match. matter. I I I don't think that matters to you as much as it does no, to some it, other decks. You would actually be very surprised how much it genuinely matters. The field spell sets from deck. I think the only card you have... Actually, wait, you're running Bonfire, so maybe. Yeah, uh, Bonfire, also uh, Snake Eye Ash adds Poplar to hand. Poplar adds a spell to hand. If I can't get the field spell to hand with Poplar, which is the only way to get the field spell out, I'm pretty sure. Then... It's the only way to surge shit. But, I mean, look, do what you want to do. I think it's dog shit card. Crossout's insane. I really don't Crossout know why you think it's a dog shit card. When Maxi is legal. You know that it can be used to stop other things, right, Nick? Yes, but nothing is as impactful as Maxi. Again, during a mirror match, I can just fucking stop my opponent if they have nothing beyond Snake Eye Ash in their hand to continue going. That just ends their if turn. If the only thing they have is Ash, if they go Ash, add Poplar, you droll them, but that still gives them the Poplar special summon, and then they can go into Link plays. Okay, they but if they, just the have, spell. if they just have Ash, I cross out <laughs> Designator, banish one of my own Ash, which I have three, why would I care? Sure. And it negates that Ash's effect, so they can't get it off. I want to hear your local stories next week about how Crossout Designator performs for you. All right. I'm, again, I, I've seen a lot of decks running Crossout at three in main or side. And I think they're just as stupid. <laughs> All right, buddy. I, uh, I haven't followed much of this. <laughs> That's okay. Lie. It really doesn't matter. Fuck you, Nick. I, look, if I didn't have to run it, I wouldn't run it at all. I don't know. It keeps my plays going. But after we went to the escape room... Yes. We went to this uh, place that was like right next door. It was like this taco place. 
They did that on purpose. And I got a got a I mean, got probably. some. I got a I got a quesadilla and a taco and some quote unquote street fries. That's upsetting. I don't know why they're called street fries. I guess because it's supposed to be like street corn, like the corn that you would get on the streets of some Hispanic culture. Sure. I don't know exactly which ones have like that corn with the stuff on it. Is it elote? Is that what I'm thinking of? Am I fuck? Am I that white? Yes. I mean, yeah, but yeah, it's elote. <laughs> it's elote. And uh, let's see. I got a birria taco. I like birria. Turns out it's my first time having. It's good. I got a barbacoa chicken quesadilla. Not a fan of barbacoa, as I've discovered today. Fair enough. But we we had a good time. We we're talking about stuff, hanging out. Uh, we got the bill, paid it. We're getting up to leave. Uh, two of my cousins uh, were standing at the table. And uh, our waiter approaches my cousin over there in the pink. And uh, just goes, hey, um, was my service like bad or anything today? And she goes, no. Was the food fine? Was like the whole experience? Was everything fine? She went, yeah, everything was... Did she not tip? Everything was great. Why? And he went, well, there was no tip on the table. And she went, the tip is right there between those glasses. <laughs> we left like a $30, $40 tip. And he, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see it. Thank you. And she was like, who the fuck? Imagine now the... I, she's like, yeah, oh. now I want to take the tip back. And she's like, imagine having the balls to walk up to someone and saying, yo, but you didn't tip? Like, I get it. I do. Nah, but yeah, also, it was like, we, of course we left you a fucking tip. And then he came, he chased us out on the street from the restaurant and was like, I just, you know, I'm sorry. It's just, I, I we've been busy all day and I had like three or four different customers that just didn't leave a tip. So I, and <laughs> you we're, were like, the one that got the taken out on. And we're like, we're, uh, we, we get it, but also Jesus Christ, watch dude. Yourself. But also watch yourself, fucker. Because like, of course, pay your fucking, pay your waiters unless you live in a country where they make a livable fucking wage and it's an insult to tip them. But oh, also, but also, buddy, you can't just go asking people about what my tip because that's, yeah, that's... It's, a, it's a little fucking weird. Yeah, it's my cousin debated snatching it from the table and just walking off with it. And she was like, "No, I'm not going to do that. I'm better than oh that." Oh my god, better than that. But I would have. <laughs> we had a great time, and I came home and we started doing the podcast. Yeah, and now it's now. Now it's now. Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking here again to do the ad break, episode 101. We're in there, baby. We're in those hundos. Let's make these episodes hundo P beautiful. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Hey, if you want to keep up with the date with the podcast, you want to know what's going on in our lives, anything like that, follow us on Twitter slash X at DipShipsPod and each of us individually at the Calamity Carl, at Metorman, at GFPPM, and at uh, Echo Fetish, E-K-K-O underscore fetish. Did that out of order a little bit. I got a little confused for a second. Uh, you can also follow us on Blue Sky. We all have our handles. They're on the screen in the video version. They're also in the description. You can find everything. Again, everything's always in the description, so you can always find everything there. And if you'd like to send us some questions or topics to talk about, you can send them to questions at dipships.boats. We do need some. We are in need of many. You can also tweet them at us, and we bookmark them, and we save them to read. You know, we go through every question, so send them our way. If you'd like to support us directly financially, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash dipshipspod. You can join at any tier that you feel is comfortable. Hey, even just a dollar a month helps. And it also gets you uh, access to each episode of Dipships a day early just by listening, though. If you want to watch it, that's going to be $5 a month. You get to watch Dipships early. You get to watch D-Ships early. You get to watch Party Boat early. Uh, you get to watch PM versus Anime, which we can't do until PM is back. That's sort of the point of the show. And uh, yeah, things like that. For $10 a month, though, I get to thank you during this part here, during the credits, which we'll get to in a hot second. And you also get to... What was the other thing for $10? I don't remember. It's been a while. It's pretty much just that I, I thank everyone. We still got to, like, fix up our tears and stuff, but it's hard to do when we all are busy with things. Oh, yeah, I was like, suggest food for us to cover on dip chips. I forgot. 
about that. If you have anything, hey, send them our way. But I will thank you all. Uh, $20 and $50 a month are both for recommending things to PM versus anime. If you want to support us that much, it means the world to us. It helps us out a lot, but you don't, you know, you don't have to stay at that if you don't want to. Put in your thing and drop back down. No harm in that. Anyway, I'd like to thank our $10 and above patrons, starting, of course, with Alatos Diogenes. Alatos, how dare you love Korak? Ali Bear, Breakdown 707, Cold Skin Gamer, Dr. Perpaka the Purple Paka, Fire Trooper 113, Frost Samurai, Gomer, Chris Derp, Lordy Fars, Mr. Collector, Mr. I Like Spam, Nap, Oblivion Gamer 27, PM's Tooth finds the courage to move on, Ryan Superfan, so. This is why they call it the Skeleton Dome. The Plan of Pyro! Vine Ultimax. Wob and Roro have Star Wars Battlefront Beaver! Yelion Dello and Zombie Slayer 051. Thank you all for the support. Uh, if you also, hey, I forgot to mention, we're also, you could just become a YouTube member. That's also a thing. We have two YouTube members currently, which I believe it is Vine Ultimax and Maryland Wolves. Oh, I'm so good. I got a perfect. Any amount of support you can give us helps out. And uh, hey, if you'd rather get something physical, you can do so by going to get some merch at streamlabs.com slash the calamity crawl slash merch. Get yourself a bucket hat. Get yourself a duck. It's a duck mug. Get yourself a duck patch. Get a duck beanie. Get a dip chip shirt. Get anything that you see there that your little heart wants to wear. But if you cannot afford to directly and financially have support us, you can at least do the bare minimum, rate five stars, like the video, leave a comment, small things like that. Trust me, they do help because podcasts sink or swim based on word of mouth. Anyway, thank you all for all the support you've given us. And speaking of people I would like to thank, I would also like to thank Vidazen at underscore V-I-D-A-Z-E-N underscore on Twitter for our intro song, Starbird, and additional music, Appetite, Delight, Ride of the Wave, Seaside, Time to Duel on Fire Within. The last two were used in D-Ships, our Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series. The other ones are used for different things. Appetite, Delight's used to go into the ad break. Ride of the Wave is for Party Boat, and Seaside is for the Dip Chips segment. Thank you very much. And I'd also like to thank my two other fellas, Shibuya Gato and Shora Art, Shora underscore Art, for our art assets. Shibuya did the logo, Shora did... The thumbnail art both did great. Speaking of people who do great, I'd like to thank Mimi at Mimi Cree, M I M I C K R I I, and amazing GGG guy for editing. Mimi's been doing the podcast, G's been doing uh, PMVA and Party Boat, and both have been doing fantastic jobs. Not forget, we're also available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts until it's dead in like a couple days, I'm pretty sure. Amazon Music, and of course the video version on YouTube. I don't know where you're listening, but I know where you're watching. And that's 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 pretty much what we've got. Um, we have more party boats coming up. G finished a good amount of them. We have, well, I have more Master Saga to put up, which has been finished. Or some of it has been finished. Uh, I've been thinking about taking my Master Duel Masochist streams and making them into something, but I also don't know if I want to do that. Maybe, who knows? Uh, otherwise, oh, I still got to do the fucking candy tier list video that I keep forgetting about. I honestly might just send that to G and pay him extra for it. I, I keep forgetting to fucking do that. I'm such a damn fool. Don't worry, it'll be out by this Halloween. <laughs> the, the Halloween candy tier list released a year after it was recorded. True to dipship standards. <laughs> Making content and then just not putting it out. That's that's us. Anyway, uh, it's, it's been busy here. We've had a lot of work being done. So things have been a little hectic and there's been a few uploads now and then because things have just been crazy for all of us. So thank you for your continued patience and for your continued support and for listening to this podcast and enjoying everything that we do. And hey, I hope you continue to enjoy the rest of this episode because I'll cry if you don't. This is my boat and you cannot be here. Okay, I think he's gone. Listen, I don't have much time. 
I need to tell you that if you like Yu-Gi-Oh, then you can go right now and listen to the Millennium Microphone podcast. Every two weeks, we put out episodes going back through the anime, and we've already covered all of original Duel Monsters and Season Zero. Right now, we're in the middle of GX, we record live, and we let our audience vote on every single episode's thumbnail. So, if you're interested, keep an eye out for hey, that- Hey! Is that Shibuya Gato from the Millennium Microphone? Dude! Shut up! Shut up right now, he's gonna hear you! Did you know that Millennium Mike is available on YouTube? Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Amazon Music. Dude, are you trying to tell them I'm here or steal my ad read? And features hosts like Shibuya Gato Kshora, Calamity Carl, Bioroxis, and KZ Excellent. What the fuck are you doing on my boat? Fuck. No, I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, d d go listen to Lenny microphone. Sorry, I got lost in existential dread. Hey, who wants questions? Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got nothing else, right? No, no, I'm good. I was going to do the, the titty milk mac and cheese, but I'm going to do that the next time we record, because I forgot Oof. about it until today. I blissfully forgot about it as well until just now. waste of mac and cheese. It's going to be yummy. I want the next podcast to like the day rolls around and me I, I come in at like eight something and Medi joins like 45 minutes later and they're like yeah sorry I had to bring Carl to the hospital <laughs> very oh. well might be you, you you think that I'm not gonna eat it on the podcast are you insane oh okay so that's gonna be a very short episode <laughs> we're gonna have a great time as long as i measure it out correctly so i don't die from caffeine overdose or something it's not the fucking panera lemonade i think you'll be okay if you have any questions for the podcast <laughs> you can send them on twitter at dipships pod or you can send to our email questions at dipships.boats we also have blue sky do we don't we we do you can send them in there i'll check them I'm looking at it now. I don't think we got none. Got followers. There we go. Yay! This question is from Daito. Daito asks us, favorite Power Ranger slash Super Sentai Megazord? Oh, dear. Oof. Uh. I like the dinosaurs. <laughs> Which ones? There's like four of them. Uh Oh, shit. There are like four of them, huh? <laughs> I, I, if it was the, uh, I think it's actually the ones in space had dinosaurs, right? No. Or no. galaxies, was it? No. Really? Neither of them had dinosaurs? No. What the fuck am I thinking of? I gotta Google some shit. There's the OG Power Rangers, then there's. That one I remember. Dino Thunder. There's. Kyuger. Kyuger, which was Brave or whatever here. Okay. And Wasn't whatever... it literally called like Dino Force or something? I, I am Maybe. thinking of the Galaxy Megazord. I just th remembered these creatures as being dinosaurs, but they're not. Oh. Uh, which one's the Galaxy Megazord? I imagine that it's from Power Rangers Galaxy. Dino it Charge is. was what It is called. correct from Galaxy. Dino Charge. Yeah, that makes sense. He looks like a big, stupid idiot, and I love him. He, he does he, look like a big, stupid idiot. He's got a gorilla head on his belt. Oh, yeah, that is that is... Oh my god, those creatures are hideous. <laughs> I know, oh, yeah. but I, I love them when I was eight. Fucking, oh, let me delete put pictures, my answer. Put pictures in the chat. What the fuck? everyone knows. What the fuck are these? I, I hate this. Oh, that's not what I was looking at. Yeah, put them up, put them up. Yeah, because Hang that's, uh, that's... Oh yeah, no. That's before they became robots. <laughs> yeah, there no, we uh, go. That's what I was looking at. That's the yeah. dog shit I remember. They have an organic shape and a robot shape. It's terrible. Oh, the ancient Megazords. Oh, my God. Uh, just just the fucking wildcat. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Like, the fucking dog. <laughs> I don't know. I think the lion looks all right from that first angle. Oh. Like he looks like rocks and shit. That's kind of cool. He does. He does look Lion like rocks. Lion looks neat. Uh, my oh. favorite one, uh, quite this honestly, 
gotta be Tokyo. Tokyo is pretty good. Is Why it does it have a train yeah, penis? Yeah, it's because of the train penis, I knew it. Yeah. I knew that that's what you were gonna go with. And of course, I just love when all of them are combined together and his name is Cho Cho Tokyu Dio. Choo oh, Choo my God. God. Choo Choo, but also Cho means super. So he's just super, super great king robot train or some shit. It's like, that's so funny. I love it. What about you, Medi? Uh, it's a tough one, right? Because like, damn, there's a lot of good, a uh, lot of good Sentai robots, right? Yeah. A lot of good, a lot of good Megazords. At least seven. Yeah, cor correct. Uh, and I'm trying really hard not to just say Spinodio. Spinodio is really good. In my head, without having context, I just imagine it as a giant top. He can be. Uh, this is unfortunately the picture off the wiki. It is a picture for ants. That is pretty for ants, but yeah, Spinodio is <laughs> really fucking cool. Uh, but here's a gif of him being the top. Wait, hang on. Why is please? No. There we go. He's huh. cool. Uh, he is, uh, number zero. He's the zeroth Zord in this show. The prototype, if you will. Yep, yep. Uh, and his full, uh, name, uh, when he's, you know, fully Zorded up, uh, Forced Biting Combination Spino Great King. Okay. What a great name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was also translated to Cannibal Combination once or twice. <laughs> that's our band name. Right? That, that is a good band name. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Chills asks us, do you have an artist whose post you like that you really want to give a shout out to? I want to give a shout out to Mimi hmm. at Mimi Cree. Hell yeah. For everyone, fantastic everyone goes art. up to Mimi. I this was... is, go commission Mimi if commissions are open. Also go commit... Commission Cheese, also commit her to an insane asylum, but Cheese, Rice K. Comey, who does all of her commissions on a 3DS. What the fuck? Is that real? Yeah. She used to, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's still real, I think she might have switched, but for the longest time she did all of her fucking commissions on an app on 3DS. Oh my That's god. That's weird. That's so funny and it looks so good too. It's the funniest shit. Also, cat, I guess. <laughs> nah. Damn. All she does is draw Aerith, though. I mean, that's allowed. Also, Shora. Can't forget Shora. Yeah. Shora does good art. I'm trying to think of someone who I'd recommend, but, like, it's all porn. What? <laughs> it's all <laughs> porn, isn't it? Shouts to Steve Chops. I. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> What's up? I, I don't know who that is, but I'm just assuming based on context. I'm assuming his name is Steve. That's true. Fair enough, yeah. No, it might that's not correct. actually be. I don't know. That would be fucked up. He'd be a liar. Right? Not okay. Any other artists? Uh, Mostly artists I follow feel kind of big anyway, so it feels kind of pointless. I found this artist recently that does, uh, like, Little Animal Nights. Little animal that, knights. Like, look at this little rat knight. I oh, think they're really that. cool. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> you, you can follow them if you're not already. They're neat. What is that? I haven't... I don't Jemmy, know what else they draw. Jemmy Ningen? Yeah, Je, uh, Jemmy underscore Ningen. I don't know what else they do other than the two animal knight drawings I've seen. Is it Jemmy or Gemmy? Because it's got a G at the, at the start. It could be either. Mm -hmm. Do you have one meta you want us to move on? Let's move on. Okay. Uh, Haig Kyle asks us, best game you love but don't have time for? Ooh. Honestly, like, a lot. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I, currently, I'll say I'm torn between Strive and Helldivers. Helldivers, I need to, like, grind out the progression, and I, I don't want to do that on my own, but I also... Most of my friends are far ahead of me, so it is hard to play catch up and I don't have that kind of time or motivation and strive I just need to practice and I don't really have time for that either that's fair um I don't have time for most things right right it sucks 
if I'm not editing or getting something ready for the show or cleaning up around the house, I'm at work or jacking off. My brother, well, <laughs> my brother this week was talking about like, I'm caught in this cycle where I go out to school because he's doing his master's program. I go out to school. I do all that. I come home. I eat dinner. I sleep. And then I go back to school. And I was like, yeah, no, that sounds right. Yeah. It doesn't get better. No, that's that's what it is, little buddy. Don't know what to tell you here. Yeah. Our lovely dream. I want to kill myself. <laughs> In Roblox. Uh, sure. <laughs> about you manny i'm trying to think well roblox for what no um <laughs> it's okay you can say destiny too i mean i'm done with this season though like i finished it so sure, yeah you're disgusting eh. but you're telling me if there wasn't like a second parallel medi that could be playing destiny at all times no no oh, okay all i right. don't hate myself that much well i feel like i'm yeah you're right <laughs> Now, I kind of would like to, like... Like, I have a couple PS4 games up there that I just, like... Goddamn. I never finished Metro Exodus. I got about halfway through, and then I had to hide it so that didn't sell it. Uh... God... God, I really wish that uh, people would play God Eater. <laughs> that was fun. I feel like my answer might just be Persona 3 Reload, because it's like... Oh, man, by the time that I finish, like doing anything for this week that I need to and get time to play it. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth's gonna come out, and all my time's gonna be dedicated to that. Are you buying it on release? Isn't it a PS5 exclusive? And? Fair enough. I don't know if you know this, Nick. I need to blow through that game before the internet can ruin it for me. I mean, I Because beat... the game's not even out yet, and the ending has been spoiled. I yeah. did. I don't know. I played through Remake literally just last year, finally. And I didn't, outside of the first, like, two hours, I didn't know anything yeah. about it. And, and I know there's going to be some people who are like, oh, you're worried about getting spoiled on a game that's uh, 17 years old or whatever, because it's just Final well, no, Fantasy VII. it's like VII. a weird spin-off yeah, thing. It's, it's yeah, no, it's, it's much not different. just Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Which pisses it's me off, but I already talked which, about this. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I think it's good. Well, the only reason I'm fine with it is because Wikipedia exists, and I just went and read the plot of the original that's, yeah, that's fair. Oh, God. Uh, Just as Ag asks us, and this is something that I'm going to have to link a little archive for. Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. um, that's ominous. Favorite Dracula Flow and or Dracula Flow parody <laughs> quotes. Uh, I, I already actually have my favorite. It's the one where he goes, they must have amnesia because they, they forgot that, that I'm that him. him. Yeah, that's, that, a good that's one. my singular favorite Dracula Flow quote. I used to have it I've on a soundboard, but it's yeah, gone I've now. I've referenced that a lot. <laughs> Uh, my my favorite one is we smoking shit in a glass pipe blowing the Lord's bubbles. <laughs> sure to got with a demon. I am a demon. These videos should be archived forever. Oh, I used to nut I, uh, in my socks until the crust smelled sweet. I ain't never going back. <laughs> could uh, could we get some Homsar flow? <sighs> do you want me to use ones that are here? Or do you want me to try and think of ones off the top of my head? Try, try to think of one. Fuck. <laughs> Catch me in your girl's arm. Oh, no, hold on. Let me try it again. <clears throat> Catch me under your girl's arm because I'm down in the pits. I hated that a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Free smoking that shit that turned that goat boy from Undertale to a flower. That's a little too coherent. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about that one. Oh. My diamonds come from the most horrific situations possible. <laughs> That's just real yeah, life. <laughs> Slurping a quick release perk off the plate like a pinto bean. <laughs> I need to go. I need. We need to. I, I'm going to kill <laughs> you. So Please. since they asks us, what would the dipship flavored ice cream taste like? Can it be any brand or flavor. Sea salt flavored ice cream. Next question. That's just Kingdom Hearts <laughs> ice cream. We can get sued. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't fucking get the flavor. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. We're talking about Disney here. Yeah, but they they can't copyright a flavor, can they? Uh, it's Disney, so maybe. I, I honestly assumed the flavor existed before Kingdom Hearts. It did, but also. <laughs> but also. 
All right, let's let's th- tastes let's, like rum. What if each of us puts one thing into the ice cream and we all decide on an ice cream flavor? Rum. All right, Medi's putting rum in the ice cream. So we already have a combination of rum and sea salt. But is that what? Hi. Is that our base? Hi. Is that our ice cream flavor base? Are we all agreed it's going to be sea salt ice cream? We're on a fucking boat. I I guess it doesn't mean it has to taste like the ocean. Would you prefer it to taste like birch wood? <sighs> All right, we got rum and a sea salt ice cream. Nick, what are you going to throw into that ice cream? What the fuck? I was the sea salt. <laughs> I could cry. All right, it, let's, I guess. Let's, let's try this again. What are the three of us going to put into this ice cream? And then what flavor is this ice cream going to be? And we're all deciding the flavor together. We've just recreated Neapolitan ice cream is what we've done here. We haven't created anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get us to make the fucking thing, and you keep just going sea salt. And it's like, what no, it pick something to, to put into the fucking thing. <laughs> Cookie no blob, cookie swirls. Do you not eat ice cream? No. What's your fucking problem? <laughs> Lactose it intolerant. My, it makes my teeth cold. It makes ah, right. my autism. teeth cold. <laughs> no, no, this makes sense to me specifically. It's an autism thing. I don't eat ice cream. <laughs> Understandable, unfortunately valid. <laughs> you guys want to vote facts? <laughs> oh, so, all right, yeah, all right. Yeah, sure, buddy. I don't have one. Oh, oh. cool. All right, bye. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> all the shit we talk about, and this is what's defeated him. <laughs> right. Oh, fucking! What haven't we talked about with boats? I feel like we're talking about everything that boats like exist with. We need to we need to branch out. What else is related to boats? Okan. What sucks is that just searching for like facts about boats is all just children's websites where they're like, the front of a boat is a stern. That's a good boat fact. It's that like is a good boat fact. Uh, we've, we've done that though. Done that a lot. Damn. <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've done, done that exactly that twice. one. At least, yeah, at least two or three times. Hmm. Uh, a ship's hull is made up of the vessel's principal frame, as well as the bottom sides and deck. Cool. That makes sense, I guess. I kind of figured the deck would go after. Cargo ships transport merchandise from port to port across the globe. (laughs) Yes, correct. I remember looking at a cargo ship and just going, cargo space? And they went, no. Cargo water. This is a boat. (laughs) Cargo road. I love that picture. Cargo space? No, cargo road. <laughs> I, I think we should block the Suez Canal again. I agree, we should. They almost did. That same boat came through and it almost did. <laughs> I it got so close. happy Can in you that moment. That? I wish it would have happened. That would have been amazing. I would have been so happy. You think that boat got banned after that? I fucking hope so. I hate that boat. A- like, after the close call. I think that boat went, should be exploded. Nah. No, you... No, no more for you. <laughs> it's like, look, we can't, we can't risk this happening again. Thank you, you all for stop. listening to this episode of Dip Ships, the Legitimate Boating Podcast. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what the fuck do I say at the end? <laughs> uh, something, something. Maybe. If you, if you like the video, make sure to like it. Share it around with your friends who might like it. Just subscribe. Click the bell. Ding. Uh, uh, buy a duck. Buy a duck. A whole duck. Just one whole duck. Name it after duck. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, DipShipsPod, Blue Sky, DipShips.Boats. That's a good. Uh, if you want to support us directly and financially, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash DipShipsPod. If you cannot afford to directly and financially support us, however, uh, share the podcast around with anyone who you think would enjoy it because podcasts sink or swim based on word of mouth. Yeah. If you know anyone who doesn't know how to make ice cream or doesn't eat it because their teeth get cold, then show them this podcast <laughs> Man, I, got a, I got a couple people I can share the podcast to whose teeth get cold and they eat ice cream I got a lot of autistic friends unsurprising <laughs> isn't it though it's because of all the leaded gasoline that our parents used to inhale <laughs> I mean kinda get yourself some merch streamlabs.com slash the calamity curl slash merch buy a bucket hat buy a duck beanie hat. Doug buy Doug the duck mug yeah and that's us what do you you guys want on any, any parting words for our audience <gasps> i'm sorry for what just like this <laughs> <laughs> understandable <laughs> just this <laughs> just this whole experience i guess <laughs>
Yeah. Thank you all for listening. We'll see you all in Audible Mile. <laughs> Bye. Have a good. <laughs>